All right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Turn discuss further into derivatives and look at another example on tangent lines. In this case, tangent line 2 and exponential function. So here's the example. It states, at what point on the curve y equals e to the x? This is the exponential function e to the x. Is the tangent line parallel to the line y equals 2, to, uh, two times x? and determine the equation of this line. Well, before I get to it, I just want to quickly draw the exponential function. It looks something like this. So it should be something like this. You see more on this uh, on exponential function and the number e in the video links below in the video description. So if this is e to the x, so if we want to find a line tangent to it, uh, based to this curve parallel to the line y equals 2x, y equals 2 us goes through the origin. So it looks something like this. And just imagine it's being a bit straight. So this is 2x. So it goes like this, goes through the origin. If you plug in x, uh, a 0 here, it becomes 0, y is 0. And then it has a rise of a run or, the, or a slope of 2 to 1. So every 1x, you go up 2y. So if you had a tangent line to it, so then you would draw something like this on this point right here. It looks something like that. And then this would have a, a line like this, and the slope would be 2 to 1. And since it's touching this point, because it's, remember, we're finding it where it's tangent to it, tangent it has to have a point touching the curve. The slope here is also 2, or a 2 to 1 right here, the rise of a run. And as I explained earlier in my videos, uh, basically the slope is the derivative, or the derivative can be interpreted as the slope. So basically we have to find out when y prime, or the derivative, is equal to 2. That, that's how we can determine uh, the points, or yeah, so what points they are. And to do that, first we have to take the derivative of y equals e to the x, so this one here. So now the pr with, with the number e, the property, a special property is the derivative of it is going to be the same. So y prime of e to the x is going to be e to the x. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we have this. So now to find out the point, uh, this point right here, we just have to solve for x e when we set it to 2. So we basically have y prime is equal to e to the x equals to 2. So then to solve this, we just ln both sides here. We're going to have ln e to the x. Make sure to watch a video, my video on logarithmic functions to see why we do this. When we ln it, and this is basically log base e, the, the e's cancel cancel with x, so this equals to 1, 2, so this just equals to x equals to 1, 2. So we have one point here, and this point is uh, it's roughly equal to, if you put in a calculator, 0.693-ish, so something like that. So we have this right here, and to find out the y, well we just plug it in, so y equals 2e, y equals e to the ln 2, and also since this is e to the power of log base e or ln, this also cancels, so we'll just be left with 2. So the point is just ln 2 and 2. This has a slope of 2 right here. So basically now to find the equation of the line, we could uh, either use y equals mx plus b, or like I showed in my earlier example video, Basically, if we just set, let's say, we find random uh, number right here, uh, random x value, and random over here. So this could be y, and I mean x and y. Yeah, so this is x and y here, and the difference right here is going to be y minus x, and this is going to be x, yeah, I mean, I mean y minus 2 right here, because this is 2, and this is ln 2. And the difference between uh, this point here, x, and, and this is just x minus ln 2. And then the, diff the rise of a run is just a slope. So we could write any number right here like this, y minus 2 over x minus ln 2 equals 2. Well, 2. That's the slope. This number is rise of a run. And this is basically, yeah, it's rise of a run is this and equals to 2. And then we just solve for the y now. So this is in any arbitrary x and y function we'll get. So we'll get, so just put this on the right side, we'll have y equals 2, 2 times uh, x ln, minus ln 2 bracket, and then plus a 2 here, we just shift this 2 on the right side. So we solve for y, and this would be our equation. Now this would be simplified a bit further, y equals to 2x multiplied inside, minus 2 ln 2, plus 2, I, I don't, uh, you can't really, simplify the ln 2, so we just leave it as this, and this is our function right here. And now here I've graphed the, all three functions with a Google graphing calculator, so here's e to the x is the blue, 
and then 2x minus uh, 2 ln 2 plus 2 is our, our line we were determining. As you can see, and it's tangent uh, on this on this curve, and it's also basically uh, parallel to this y equals to 2x, which goes to the origin right here. So as you can see, yeah, this is the function. This is a way to double check, and when you graph it, and then here I've just copied and pasted that exact graph right here, and just to uh, just just to put it inside this uh, this ex this word document because you could also download these notes in Dropbox and Dropbox link below. Well, anyways, that's all for today. I just wanted to show it's uh, how to solve similar of uh, basically equations uh, of a tangent line, but now but in this case parallel to the line here. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this example and number eight, once again, you can download the exact, ex these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.